What does it mean that I can talk about you now the way I talk about Billy? We played in the basement Billy's father built in one long U-shaped room carpeted and sheetrocked almost soundproof from above. We played Legos and Hot Wheels. If we hit each other in one bled, it was word against word. No witnesses. I was the one who'd come up crying. Except for the day we brought home the snake. We agreed it should live at Billy's house. The basement was perfect, dark, quiet, cool. We fed the snake a mouse a week and checked each day to see how far the mouse had gone along. Sometimes we poked the lump to test for life. The snake itself didn't last too long. When it died, I was the one who carried the news upstairs. When Billy's father came to bury it, Billy lay down next to me and cried. I wanted to tell him it would be all right. We could get a turtle or a lizard instead. When he looked up with tears in his eyes, I wanted to cry too, but didn't. Every other day, he beat the hell out of me. Now the first thing I remember whenever I hear his name is the feeling of the lump in the snake's cold throat.